Questions 1 through 10 on the 2021 Grade 11 Fermat Math Contest. A rectangle has a width of 2, length of 3. The area is, the area of a rectangle is length times width. The length is 3. In this case, the width is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Number 1, the answer is E. The expression 2 plus 3 times 5 plus 2. In this question, they're really testing the order of operations, which is bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, like that. So in this case, of course, you would do the multiplication first, since multiplication comes before addition. So you do that first, and then when you do, that's 15, and then the rest is just addition going from left to right. So that would be 19. And therefore, number 2, the answer is A. The number equal to 25% of 60. 25% can be written as 0 0.25. Multiply that by 60, and you've got your answer. And in this, this case, the answer is 15. So number 3, that would be B. 1x is equal to 2, 0, 2, 1. The value of 4x over x plus 2x is. 4x over x plus 2x. Well, it looks to me like the denominator is just 3x. And then the x's cancel, so you just get 4 over 3. So it didn't matter what x was. So this was not even needed to be placed into the expression. So number 4, the answer is B. Which of the following integers cannot be written as a product of two integers, each greater than 1. 6 can be written as 2 times 3. 27 can be written as 9 times 3. Uh, let's see here. 53 is a prime number, so that cannot be written as the product of two integers where both integers are greater than 1. 39, um, that can be written 3 times 13, and 77, 7 times 11. So. The answer for number 5 is C. A square piece of paper has a dot in its top right corner and is lying on a table. The square is folded along the diagonal, then rotated 90 degrees clockwise about its center, and then finally unfolded as shown. The resulting figure is, if you're practicing, take out a piece of paper, cut it into a square, make a dot, and follow the instructions. So obviously, when you fold it, the dot would be here. Then you rotate it, the dot goes here. And then when you unfold it, the dot ends up there. So the answer is E for number 6. Which of the following expressions uh, is x greater than x squared? So we want x to be greater than x squared. Okay, well, let's see. When x is minus 2, x squared would be 4. Well, that's not greater. Let's keep going. When x is minus a half, x squared is a quarter. Again, not greater. Zero, well, that's zero. Those are equal. A half, this is a quarter. This is the only one so far where that's greater. And then two and four, that's less than. So less than, less than, equal to, and less than. So the only one that satisfies the condition of the question is this right here, which would be choice D for number seven. The digits in a two-digit positive integer are reversed. The new two-digit integer minus the original integer equals 57. What is the positive difference between the two digits of the original integer? I'll let the first integer be AB. The second integer, therefore, is BA. And what they're saying is that BA, the new two-digit integer, minus the original integer is equal to 54. Well. BA, like for example, if you had 73, what is it? It's 7 times 10 plus 3, correct? So the same thing, this would be 10B plus A, and this would be 10A plus B. Okay, let's take it out of the bracket. So 10B minus B, 9B, A minus, A minus 10A is minus 9A, and that's 54. So we factor out the 9, and we get b minus a is 54. And then divide through by 9, and we get b minus a is equal to 6. So what do they want? The positive difference between the two digits of the original number. Well, here's the original number. The positive difference would be a minus b, I guess, with an absolute value. And 
That looks to me like six. Six is a positive number. And that's the answer. So number eight, that would be D. Or C, sorry. Yeah, don't circle the wrong number. The line with the equation y is equal to 2x minus 6 is translated upwards by 4 units. That is, every point on the line is translated upward by 4 units, forming a new line. The x-intercept of the resulting line is. Let us draw a quick graph. And let's draw the line y is equal to 2x minus 6. When x is 0, y is minus 6. And when x is 3, that is when we get y equal to 0. So there's my line. Now let's join those two points. So, something like that. Now we're translating it up uh, four units, right? So from minus six, it would ba basically up to go up to minus two. So the line, it would be parallel, but it would be like this. Like that. So this is now minus two because it had to go up four units. Okay, so this line, again, is y equals two because the slope is the same because it's parallel, 2x, but some b that one i don't know but i do know a point on the line a point on the line when x is zero y is minus two so i can substitute that into here and get my value for b and then i can figure out my x intercept okay so that would mean that when you have minus two you have two times zero plus b so minus two is equal to b so my equation is two x minus two to get the x intercept you set y to zero 2x minus 2 is 0, so that means 2x is 2, x is equal to 1. Okay, 9, the answer is D. If 3 to the power of x is equal to 5, then the value of 3 to the power of x plus 2 is. 3 to the power of x plus 2 is equivalent to 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2, right? That's how you get that. And then 3 to the power of x, well, that they've given us in the question is 5. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So 5 times 9 is 45. And there you go, number 10, the answer is E.